Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back. And today is going to be my second declutter video. And this is going to be my eyeshadow palettes that I decided that I can part with. So um, we'll get started. And like I said in the, uh, the first video, my daughter's going to be hosting a giveaway party with several um, ladies that are going to be coming and we're going to be doing like a makeup swap and so all this stuff is going to that uh, makeup swap party so i'll be getting it all sanitized and ready to go but anyway up here at the very top is a coastal scent um, blush palette then the contour palette and then one of their the eyeshadows and I'm pretty sure that this is one that I created myself where I bought all of those little shadows individually I don't ever reach for them and I have higher end makeup cosmetics that I um, would rather use than than using these and they're good quality there's nothing wrong with them but like I said I'd rather be using like my Tom Ford or my Chanel or or those that I really spent a lot of money on. Um, this is some Inglot blushes. Um, I purchased those and I just, I wasn't, to be honest with you, that very excited about the blushes. So the eyeshadows are good, but the blushes I didn't care for. Then I have a couple of Mally um, eyeshadow palettes here that I purchased off of QVC and I just never reach for them and I had some more that I had given away probably a year ago maybe and I had kept those two these two thinking that I would use them but I never did so I'm just gonna part with them this right here is a Nika 2 palette but is not a real Urban Decay Nika 2 palette it is a knockoff and I knew that buying it but um, I'm gonna pass that on because I have not used that this is a skin by Dimitri James eyeshadow palette that was purchased off of Hope Look and I just never reached for it. So I'm going to put that in the little giveaway party stuff. This right here is a Z palette that I made and it has in it some wet and wild a wet n wild eyeshadow palette and then some mark blushes and some mark eyeshadows from Avon and I'm not for sure what blush that is but I'm going to put that in there I never once I depotted those I never used them again and then this is something that I just recently purchased from Kiko and it was just a little eyeshadow palette with some a blush and a bronzer Again, I never, I used it a few times when I first got it, but it's just sitting in the drawer, so it's time to go ahead and pass it on. Then I have this Morphe, um, what is this? This is the 28S palette, and I think this is probably one of the first Morphe palettes that I bought, and I used it a little bit. Some of the, the shadows broke, so I'm going to put that in there too. Then the Revolution palette from Ulta. I didn't really care for that. The Revealed palette from Coastal Scents. This little guy right here, I was I almost decided to keep this because I actually use this quite a bit, but I haven't used it probably in at least a year. But it's the Love and Beauty from Forever 21 little eyeshadow palette. The Sonia Kashuk Nude, I think. Ion neutral, iron, yeah, ion neutral palette. Again, I don't, I just still never reach for it, so there's no point in keeping it. A bare minerals nudes, and I don't even, I don't remember when I even got this, but again, it's something that I just don't reach for. So this, this little elf, the Mad for Matte. Everybody was talking about this on YouTube and how great it was. I just didn't really care for it. I didn't think it was that great. So I'm going to give that to them. And then this is an Urban Decay, um, the great powerful Oz. This was a collector's 
edition thingy from Urban Decay in this little tin. But what I did at some point in time, I took some eyeshadows out of it. And where they went, I don't know. But these that are left, I don't use. And this little eyeliner pencil, I don't use. So we're going to let those girls have a go at this. I figure one of them will grab that up pretty quick because that's that's pretty exciting, especially for the that age group, the 20 year olds. This is from Le Métier de Beauté. Um, I had gotten a year long subscription service to to them. It's kind of like Ipsy, but it was high this high brand. Anyway, this came. I didn't really like this. <laughs> And this was, you know, from a very expensive brand, and I paid a lot for that subscription service for that whole year. And half the stuff, well, I would say probably 75% of the stuff I didn't really like, so that's going to be going. And then I have a couple other things here. Now this, this right here, this Smashbox thing, I am going to be tossing this. This is not going in there. This is something that I've had for years it's broke. I used, actually I used up quite a bit of stuff on there. This was, you know, before YouTube. Before I got caught up in YouTube hype of purchasing every cotton picking new thing that comes on the market. Anyway, and then this right here from um, Tarina Tarantino was a purchase from Hope Look and um, a blush palette that I never reached for. So that is it for the palettes, which I think is, you know, pretty substantial as far as getting rid of some stuff, especially since I am a makeup hoarder. It's very hard for me to um, let things go, especially now I'm sitting here, I'm really thinking, oh, I, you know, these colors are so pretty, but I have, I have those colors in more high-end palettes. And I don't need to keep that. Anyway, so that is it for the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I think what I will probably be doing next is going to be the eyeshadow, like my quads and duos, that type. And then single eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, I have a ton of single eyeshadows that I'm going to be decluttering and be doing a video. And like I did in the last video, at the end, I kind of will pan you over and just kind of show you all of the stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of. And if you didn't see the uh, lipstick decluttering, here are all the lipsticks that I'm decluttering. So anyway, that is it. Um, thank you so much for joining and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.